Right now, he's preparing for a state championship game. But just 10 months ago, Richard Cumbie's world was turned upside down. I noticed I had a, a lump on my neck. So my mom took me to the doctor and they uh, checked me out that day. He said, come back a couple of weeks and see if it went down and it didn't go down. And they gave me a needle biopsy. And then they told me it's, it was cancer. Cumbie's mindset for battling this disease, go! not what you'd expect. The doctor told Richard, well, Richard, you have a uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. Richard said, no, I don't. And he was like, yes, you do. And Richard was like, no, I don't. My God said that I don't have Hodgkin's lymphoma. I'm not speaking that on myself. So I would like for you not to speak that on me. But he never never claim that disease. But before they knew it, his journey with his mom to St. Jude in Memphis began and his health continued to decline. We didn't want to lose him. We wanted to save him. Wrestling with you one day and then next month he in a wheelchair. Balaka move. And while away from home, Cumby was not forgotten. Coaches and teammates stayed in constant contact and never stopped praying. He's just a special kid. You can't put into words what, what Richard is. Richard's Richard. Um, and that there'll never be another one. He, he's really like crazy, like funny. He, he always make people day better and he was shy. In between treatments, he was able to return to Sen Line. Let's just say it was some powerful medicine. The truancy officer say, hold up right here. He got on a loudspeaker and announced to the whole school that he got a special guest and he said, no other than Richard coming, then all the classroom doors bust open it and all like the kids, like a, all the kids they ran, ran that surround them up in the middle of the gym. And right then is when you, you saw how much he meant to the other kids in the school. Now Richard also plays baseball for UAC. The final game of the season just happened to fall right in the middle of his treatments and he somehow convinced the doctors to let him come back home to play. And he did, with pick lines in his arm, receiving chemotherapy during the game. Then he hits a, a shot into the outfield and uh, it's probably the longest single I've ever seen. It took him about 10 seconds to get to first base to the point to where the umpire felt so sorry for him. He said, Coach, I won't even charge you a pinch runner. Get somebody in to run for this kid. Richard is healthy now. He started all season at defensive end for the Lions, and he's been a leader for a 12 and one team in its first state championship game in school history. <sighs> Anything can happen. Don't take life for granted. Don't give up. God's not through with you yet. <laughs> Kelsey Winger, News Channel 5, your local station for sports.